guide. So remember that when we divide by this, we're making the assumption that r minus 10 is a factor. And so remember the factors are set equal to zero. So if I say r minus 10 equals zero, then I add 10 to both sides. So then r equals 10 is a zero. Okay. So let's just write that over here. We're going to put 10. And we need an r to the fourth power. We need an r to the third power. We need an r squared, r to the first, and r to the zero. So I'm going to write down the coefficients. So this technically has a 1 in front of the r to the fourth, so I write the 1 here. This technically has a negative 19 r cubed, so I'm going to write the negative 19 down here. This technically has a positive 82, so I'm going to write that down there. This next one has a 83, positive 83, so I'm going to write down plus 83 because of the r. And then our last term, the constant, or r to the 0, is negative 30. I'm firing up my calculator because those are some big numbers and I don't want to make a mistake. So let me move this over to the side. All right. So, what's the first step? I'm just going to drop down that first term. Then what do I do? Well, I'm going to multiply 10 by 1. What's 10 times 1? 10. So I'm going to write that 10 right there. It's a positive 10, so I'm going to put the plus 10 right there. Now when I add that up with the negative 19 over to the side, I'm going to say negative 19 plus 10. And that's negative 9. I'm going to write that negative 9 right here. What do I do next? I'm going to multiply 10 by negative 9. What's 10 times negative 9? Ten times negative 9 is negative 90. If I have a negative 90, I'm going to add 82 to that, that gives me a negative 8. What's negative 8 times 10? In other words, I'm going to take this 10 and multiply it by negative 8. What's that? Well, even if I don't know, I just plug it in the calculator. I'm going to say 10 times negative 8. 80. So I write that down right here. It's negative 80. And then 83 minus 80. What's that? Plus 3. Now what's 10 times plus 3? Positive 30. And when I add those up, I get 0. That's my remainder Remember that we're going to be one power less on the bottom, so my r to the fourth becomes r to the third. This becomes r squared. This one comes down and becomes just r to the first power. And that, my friends, is technically the answer. Right there. So now that I have the answer, when I go to do the long division, I can just, I already kind of know, as long as I did my math right, what I'm going to plug it into. So I'm going to write this down now this way for long division. I'm going to say r minus 10 raised, or not raised to, but goes into r to the fourth minus 19r cubed plus 82r squared 
plus 83R minus 30. Okay, well the first thing I'm going to multiply that by is R to the third. What's R to the third times negative 10? Negative 10. R to the third. What's R to the third times R? R to the fourth. We have to add the opposite, so this becomes negative and this becomes positive. R to the fourths add up to zero, and then I have negative 19, right? Negative 19 plus 10 is negative 9. R cubed. And I want to point out a couple of things. Notice that this is plus 10. Notice that this ends up becoming plus 10. Notice that I have a negative 19 plus 10, negative 19 plus 10, and that's all in the R cubed column. So then when I add them up, I get R squared, negative 9R squared. Here it's a little different because I have R cubed, but this negative 9R squared is going to go right here. Negative 9R squared. Now I got to drop down the next term. Plus 82R squared. So then I know that I'm going to multiply by negative 9R squared. So what's negative 9 times negative 10? positive 90, then tack on the r squared. Then negative 9r squared times r is just negative 9r cubed. We're going to add the opposite, so this negative becomes positive, and this positive becomes negative. These add up to 0, and then 82 minus 90 equals negative 8 r squared. Well, I already know what the next thing I'm multiplying by. I'm going to multiply by negative 8 r. So, let's do that. Negative 8 r. And then that times negative... Oh, we got to drop this down too. Plus 80. R. So negative 8R times negative 10 is a positive, oh, yeah, positive 80R. And then negative 8R times R is negative 8R squared. We have to add the opposite. The 8R squareds cancel, and then I have negative 83, I'm sorry, positive 83 minus 80, which is just a positive 3R. I know I'm going to add 3 up here, but let's drop down the 30. So I say plus 3 up here. Positive 3 times negative 10 is a negative 30. Positive 3 times R is positive 3R. Then I'm going to add the opposite. This becomes a negative. This becomes a positive. They add up. What's my remainder? Zero. Guess what? Same answer. And I'll zoom out so you can see them both. And that's problem number two. So 